Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Ben from the Graphic Stock Content Team, and today we're going to be learning about how to color in an illustration using Adobe Photoshop. So if you want to go ahead and follow along with me, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and hop over to graphicstock.com, and we're going to find an illustration to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and search for elephant illustration. But you can use any kind of illustration that you want to. We're just using this one because it's a little bit simpler than the other ones. So we found our, uh, our illustration here. So let's go ahead and download it as a JPEG. Awesome. So once you have that downloaded as a JPEG, let's go ahead and open that up in Adobe Photoshop. Awesome. So once you're in Adobe Photoshop, the first thing that we want to do is add a new layer to this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to this icon right here, add a layer right above the elephant. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and unlock this background layer here. That way we can go ahead and play around with it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the lock icon. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this image right above the new layer that we just made. Perfect. All right, so after we've done that, um, we want to make sure that we're filling in any gaps in our image. That way, when we color it in later, it's, it won't bleed outside the lines. Um, so for this particular image, there's only one gap right here above the ear. Um, but if you're using a different image, you may just want to double check to make sure there's no gaps. So to fill in the gap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to our paintbrush tool. I'm going to make sure that the color is black. So then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the gap right here. And make my paintbrush just a tad smaller. Perfect. All right, so after we filled in all the gaps, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our blend mode is set to multiply. And the way we do that is just selecting our uh, illustration layer here and then jumping up to where it says normal, clicking on that drop down menu, and selecting multiply. All right, so the next thing we want to do is select the background layer. Uh, and the way we do that is we go over to our magic wand tool and we go ahead and select the background of this illustration. Now because um, the illustration cuts off different sections of the background, we have to go ahead and right click on your mouse um, and then select add to selection for the other parts of the background that weren't part of the original selection. So after we've done that, Let's go ahead and do that here. Awesome, so now we have the whole background selected. Then we wanna go ahead and add a layer mask. So before we do that, we wanna make sure that we're grouping our two layers together. So selecting both layers here, and then if you wanna go ahead and select Command G if you're using a Mac or Control G if you're using a PC, that creates a group of layers right here. And after we selected a group, we wanna go down here to um, create layer mask. And if you notice, this particular mask actually took out the, um, the illustration, but we want to only, uh, we only want to create a mask for the background. So to do that, let's go back into our layers, and then we want to hit Command I. And what that does is it creates an invert selection. So now it's selected the background and created a mask of um, our illustration. Now we can go ahead and jump right into the fun part of coloring in the illustration. Now because we used the magic wand tool and we made a selection, when we color it in, we can stay, we can kind of go a little crazy, but we don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines. Let's go ahead and select our paintbrush tool here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make it a light gray uh, for the elephant. And then before you start coloring in, you want to make sure that you're selecting the bottom layer, not the top one. Um, so you're not coloring over the... Uh... So let's go ahead and select layer one here, making sure our brush is set to light gray uh, for the elephant. And then we can start coloring it in. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more texture to this image by um, painting a few areas, a little bit of a darker gray. I'm gonna go ahead and paint some of the knees here. Great, and so that takes care of that. I hope uh, you learned a little bit today about how to color in an illustration using Adobe Photoshop. 
I hope you come visit us over at graphicstock.com. We have tons of amazing uh, illustrations that you can use for your career projects. Thanks for joining us.